I got convinced to buy my own domain quite some time ago. I've listened to tons of YouTube videos telling me to do it. I've also found that in a book. And yeah, I just bought it to not ever pay thousands of dollars if I ever become popular in the future. It's not the time still, but at least I got it. And yeah, it's been laying around, nothing was on there until today. Uh, and I built something cool and I want to show it to you. So this is my page right here. And yeah, it took me a few days to build. I was actually shocked how quickly I was able to do that. And yeah, I need to talk about some JavaScript frameworks. And I'm trying to create maybe a small series where I'll be playing around with many of them. I've already tried Svelte and now I tried this one. I'm not gonna tell what, I, what it is yet. And yeah, I've got a few more I wanna try and pick one to focus on because Svelte uh, 4 is deprecated, Svelte 5 is the new version and my boilerplate that I made and this is my actually uh, most popular video, uh, yeah, that's outdated now and I need to find something new. So yeah, this is the start of the new series. All right, so enough yapping, let's just get straight into it. So for a static website like this, it makes no sense to use a heavy framework like Next.js or SvelteKit because it's just going to be rendered on the server and what's important is that the SEO is good. So we are going to pick a framework for static websites and my options here were pretty much narrowed down to either Hugo, the world's best, fastest framework for building websites, that was pretty convincing headline I must say, and also Astro, which is the web framework for content-driven websites. And I picked Astro, it's just, you know, I first looked at the website and was like, oh, that looks great. And I also heard <laughs> uh, from a few YouTubers that Astro is a good framework and it actually supports uh, React and Svelte. And this got me convinced right away, so I didn't even read much more about Hugo. Uh, I might give it a try someday, but I went with Astro. So quickly, what is Astro? Well, it's the JavaScript framework optimized for building fast content-driven websites, which is perfect for my use case. It sends just lightweight HTML to my browser with zero unnecessary JavaScript overhead and it's content-driven, meaning I can easily implement my favorite CMS if I ever want to, and it's also really customizable with all the UI frameworks being supported. Next cool thing is Astro Islands. So an Astro website is mostly static, but you can select parts of your app to be hydrated using these islands, meaning that you have three options, client load, client idle, and client visible, and it's pretty much what it does is it lets you use JavaScript in your components and yeah, that only uses JavaScript for those components that need it and others are pretty fast. And that's why Astro is, yeah, it's pretty fast. As I said before, you can use any framework you want and that meant I got to play with uh, the AI tools like V0. I usually use Svelte and V0 is only for React and I got to design some cool things with V0, I'm going through it later. And I also got to play with Externity UI, which is a component library for React. And as you can see, some things are pretty much mind blowing here. I really love this library and I wish something like this works for Svelte. And yeah, I got a few things on my site, like these cool light rays and also uh, this flying thingy on the left, those are from Externity, and uh, the other things are made with uh, V0. And there's plenty of more stuff here on the Astro website, uh, but I'm not going to mention it all because it would be too long. Let's just get into the developer experience. So the setup was really easy, I just used the Astro CLI, uh, npm create Astro add latest, simple command, you can also add later uh, React, Tailwind, and Svelte, the integrations that I needed. And yeah, creating the UI was really easy. This is something I came up with V0 and I just pasted it in my 
website right here. I refined it with Claude, changed the colors a bit, made this longer and yeah, that was really easy to do. Next, I just pasted some components from Eternity UI. I got this tracing beam and I also got the the new weight spotlight. I really love this effect and I put it at the top and if you refresh the page oh, why is it taking so long? Oh yeah. You can just see that I'm pretty well lit and I appear. So that's a cool effect I came up with. And I took inspiration from the indie page also. And uh, if you don't know what it is, this is what Mark Lowe made. I'm a bit ashamed that I copied this, but I think it's a cool thing to have. I'm at zero dollars anyway, so you can see the charts. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'm going to share my projects here. And yeah, you might be wondering what this is. This is a secret project that I'm making. Well, it's not secret anymore, but yeah, I'll see what I can do about this. So designing the UI locally was really easy. I just do some copy pasting and writing with AI. I even got to reuse this part from my uh, previous application with Svelte. That's really cool that you can mix up all these different UI frameworks. It's amazing. But the problems began when I tried to deploy to Vercel. So first problem, 404 not found. And I was like, what is going on? I tried to read in the documentation and I couldn't find anything that, yeah, would solve this deployment URL, correct. Deployment existence, yeah, it existed normally. I reviewed the logs, nothing was in the logs. Permissions, yeah, all of that uh, was checked. And what I found that is you need the Astro adapter. It should be placed in the Astro config, which is right here. And when I asked the AI to help me write the server endpoints, it changed the adapter to be node and it destroyed the whole thing for Vercel and I just didn't notice it at all. So that's a thing you have to be mindful of if you don't know the framework like I did and you just try to YOLO everything with AI. Yeah, you just have to be careful because this small issue cost me a few hours of my time, but luckily I fixed it. And yeah, another error occurred, which was this page isn't working and you could reload this any time you want. And the issue here actually was, let me show you in Vercel. The issue is right here, too many open files. And as you can see here, the problem is with Lucid React library, which is an icon library that is pretty standard. Many people use it and I didn't know what was going on. And it turns out that the way Astro handles things with the uh, static uh, serving, yeah, it broke uh, the newest version of Lucid React uh, icons and I had to downgrade, downgrade it manually. Uh, let me show you which version works. Uh, oh my God. This one, 0 0.4690. This one worked. Yeah, I also had to uninstall the icons packed React simple icons yeah right here and i used another one which was which was react icons just react icons and this worked and this didn't bring up the errors so yeah that were the two main things that i had to uh, overcome and then i got this beautiful website you can visit it right now and I got the APIs to work uh, when I fixed the adapter and yeah, everything now works and you can sign up for the newsletter from here. I had to manually get the key from Beehive, but that was also easy. 
I'm not gonna talk about that, come on. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how I made the website. So, Astro, really cool, but I don't think if I want to build an app that's the framework that I'll be reaching for, I'll definitely prefer SvelteKit still over this, because it's, yeah, it's really focused for static websites like this, and if I wanted to make an app like ScriptWriter, which is my latest SaaS, check it out if you haven't already, or if you're not a user bird, you're not gonna use it, but still, managing scripts like this is, yeah, it's a thing that Astro wouldn't be able to do because there's a lot of uh, dynamic content that's changing, so that's not the uh, framework for a use case like this. But still, I got to learn, and if I ever need to make a static website, I know that Astro is cool and pretty easy to use. And next up, what I'm going to try, and I'm already working on this, you guys asked for the Superbase integration when I was making the boilerplate video, and there I used Firebase, and it turns out I don't really like it that much. I mean, it was the easiest thing to set up ever, and when I started now the SvelteKit 5 project with Superbase, yeah, it took me like six hours to get basic Google authentication working, but because this is a boilerplate, those six hours are put in and I'm not gonna have to put any more hours into it. And yeah, I'm just gonna try to make the same boilerplate and I will release a video when I get it done and it will be a public repo that you will be able to find right here in my open source and contributions uh, yeah, part of my website. So I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll see you in the next one.